Right, I'm outside. I'm just showing you the set I'm going to use. Uh, the wood is a piece of English oak. British oak. Uh, why get foreign wood in when we've got some perfectly good hardwood here? And the briquettes. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I found that they work the best. The weather, in my limited experience, is the weather briquettes. Because it's going to be cooking low and long, these are definitely the best things to use for it. Uh, so basically, I'm going to fill the flue up. That should be around about 20 in there. Two, three, four. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one 21 for luck there we go 21 for luck uh, I'm going to use a Weber again Weber not sponsored uh, fire started to do it I did use the uh, lighting fluid you know the barbecue lighting fluid uh, unfortunately that tends to burn leak right down into the uh, briquette and uh, actually I'm going to put 22 in there I've got room for 22 and that tends to fire them all off at once. So with this, hopefully, I'll get a nice burn near the top. So I'll just break that in half. Try and do it one-handed. Then we'll... Uh, there we go. Put that there. And that will start it off then. Obviously, these will take a lot longer to start up than the uh, lumber does. Uh, but I'm not in a way. Okay. There we go. These are well worth having. All these sort of uh, kitchen torches, I think they call them. Saves you mucking about trying to light your matches or bits of paper or that. And they use butane. Even in the sort of, I mean, it's only eight degrees today. They fired up all right. And that's obviously enough to get that going. What I do with the oak is it's quite a large bit, instead of sitting on top, I am literally going to place it on the side. Uh, so that will sort of, it's not, it's all dry. Uh, hopefully, I'll try and get a smouldering instead of just burning up. Obviously, I don't want it to crack this, so I don't want it burning up. And also, don't want it to uh, increase the temperature too much. Excuse me. Ugh. So there we go. Uh, the grill and that's going to go on next. And then I'm going to put the brisket on top. Uh, hmm. I'm probably not even going to... Actually, do you know what? I'm not even going to put the water bowl in. Thinking about it, that brisket's covered in sort of liquid. But what I'm going to do is I am going to tinfoil the bottom grate. Obviously, there's a heat deflector. Uh, it shouldn't be too much heat on it. But because it's rolled, you, you know, you haven't got the, the fat side. The fat side's all the way in it. Uh, so I shall be back later. 